check. No, it's fine. So this is how to fix one of these Hans G monitors. I see them getting thrown away all the time, so I fished a bunch out of the trash. And anyways, they're uh, super easy to fix. I've already kind of half done this one, so before I decided to make a video, that's the cat meowing. Anyway, so here's what you do. Pop the back off, which is already there. There's some screws holding it on. Um, then you'll find that there's this power supply box on the back, so just peel off the, the uh, foil tape and undo the screws and then take this part out here. And this is where the problem lies. These capacitors here, which I have already removed, they're 470 microfarad, 25 volt, so you'll need some six of those. Um, higher voltage or higher microfarad would be okay. So looking at the board this way, they all go right along here. I've got five of them stuck in there. My last replacement's right there. They're super cheap. I got these from Jamico for a few cents each. Big bag. Anyway, so they're marked negative on the outside. Um, Desolder the old si the old six, which I've already done. Pop in the new ones. I usually uh, pull the le the le leads out to the side a little bit so they kind of stay in place while I solder them. It's kind of hard to tell, maybe on the camera, but if you look closely at the old capacitors, you can tell they kind of got gassy and and the top is like domed out slightly, whereas on the new ones, they're all nice and flat on top. So that's one way you can sometimes visually pick out bad capacitors without an oscilloscope or a voltmeter. Um, what the function of these capacitors are is they're filter capacitors for the power supply. Okay, so now that I got my new filter capacitors in, I'm gonna reinstall this. Gotta pull this up a little bit. Let's see. There we go. Plug that in. Alrighty, now that all the screws are in, we'll grab this main piece for reassembly. So, these ribbon cables, never pull them out by the wires, you gotta be kinda careful with them. So they just kinda plug in there, like that. And, I have a smaller Phillips for these. I guess I could have screwed this down before plugging the wires in. But anyway, now that all the wires are plugged in, put these screws in. And I destroyed all the foil tape, so I don't care about that stuff anyway. It's all done. Time to put the back on. And then the stand, if I had one. Put the screws in the back and test it. So now it's hooked up, and as you can see, it works just fine. So that is, I think, like the third or fourth one of those. I did this one. It's a slightly different design or model or whatever, but it has the same power supply and the same failing capacitors. And this one, which is actually the same model. Anyhow, so now I have now I have more monitors. Can't have too many. And that's how you fix a Hans G monitor for like one dollar.